Okay, so we will we'll be back here, but right now let's go first to the the parent default. So go to parent, choose this one, go back, go back once more. And here in a uh, default, let's go to the first material. Let's choose the diffuse color. And uh, let's go to uh, material editor and choose diffuse color map because this is the the one that we made right now. Let's put OK. Let's put uh, copy. Okay. Now let's come back and drag the this diffuse material to opacity. Now let's put instance. Put OK. And uh, let's go back now to the second material. This could sound a little complicated, but uh, it's easy. Uh, now let's go to the, gra the gra gradient ramp that we made before. And now let's go down here in output and choose invert. The invert box must be selected. Now let's go back again to the first material. We were in the second, now we were in the first. And, uh, and go to opacity. Now we, sh we should uh, animate this again. So let's go to the frame zero. And uh, now, uh, instead of a line, we want the black growing up. I'm gonna explain it better. Uh, like in the frame zero, gonna be like this, but in the frame one, the first one must be black too. Frame two. See, the black is growing up. Let's go to the end. To the 98. Let's put this one black. 99. Let's put this one black. Okay, as you can see, it must stay like this. Okay, it's almost to the end. Let's put it back. And now, uh, we select the teapot. With, and then we select assign material to selection and then go to this blue and white box right here uh, that says show map in viewport and select it as you can see it disappears like this but uh, that's not very cool let's use uh, UVW map to make it uh, realistic so select the teapot, go to the modify tab, in the modifier list, let's choose UVW map. Go back, uh, go down and uh, select uh, Y and fit. Now you can see it disappears like this. Really cool. Now if we press render, you see? It's really cool, but it's not over yet. As you can see, the teapot is white, and uh, the particles are red. Mm. Why can we put the, the teapot red? That could be more realistic in the effect. So let's go back to the material. Well, let's take out the auto key. Don't forget that. Let's take it out. Okay, let's go to the material editor. Uh, in the uh, in the first, the default, let's go to the diffuse, and uh, uh, before we select the gradient ramp, gradient ramp, now we go select again and choose new and choose known, and uh, select uh, the red color. It's already selected. If we press render now, we can see this, but uh, it's not perfect. <laughs> right here, we can see a line. And uh, that takes out uh, the realistic effect because it's always a line. And uh, as you can see, it's always a line. It's not very cool. We can change it. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the material. And uh, in uh, opacity, let's use opacity. And uh, down here in the noise parameters, let's choose the amount for that 04 and the size for that 4. Now let's choose fractal and use the phrase 
of uh, that four. Okay, uh, I, I will say again the amount is uh, that o four, the size is that four, and the phrase is that four. Don't forget to choose fractal. If we put uh, on this frame now, you can see in the uh, the render let's put render is really more cool. You can see it's really cool. It makes a, a nice effect. And if you animate this, it's gonna be great. Go back front. And uh, as you can see the effect is really cool. It makes a a random effect instead of, of just a line. It's a random effect, it's really cool. Okay buddies, that's it. I'm gonna put now if we can make a, a picture or just a movie because we can animate this from the frame 1 for the frame 100 let's put in the frame 100 the render you can see that they all gone just the particles left okay I'm gonna put play right here okay man uh, everything I wanna say is thanks for watching I hope this was a helpful tutorial. Once again, I'm sorry for my English. I know it sucks, <laughs> but uh, I try to put to do my best. Uh, right now, I just want to say that uh, I'm gonna try to make more tutorials, uh, and that's it. Bye. See you next time.